Welcome back to another video guys. What's going on? Today we have the S3 parked out here at uh, Peace Airport area and um, we're going to be going over five things that I dislike about my S3. So let's get into it. I'm going to be real nitpicky with the five things that I'm talking about today just because the car really isn't that bad and all these things are just subtle minor features that on a day-to-day -day basis if you're driving um, you know they might irritate you or kind of grind your gears so to start off it's gonna be the windows now if I use the unlock button and I hold it down I can roll down all my windows and pop the sun visor now the only thing that stinks is I can't hold the lock button and have the same thing happen I don't know why Audi decided that they're just gonna do it on the unlock so instead you have to take the key put it in a little keyhole, hold it, wait for it to lock, and then they are close. It's kind of a dumb feature. I don't know why they give you one and not the other. All right, so there's number one. I, get, I gotta get something for this. So, uh, number two, say, say you got a nice, a nice water bottle like so, okay? You don't wanna spend money on a drink, so you're like, oh, I'm gonna bring my water bottle with me so I save a little bit of money. Okay, you got yourself a water bottle. And you have these, these little cup holders. Now they'll they fit an average size to anything, but what stinks is the way this dash is angled. If you put anything on this side, you're almost guaranteed to hit all these buttons and it makes it impossible to access any of these buttons, which is all your AC. So you, you literally have to pull it out, press a button, and then put it back in. So that's kind of annoying. And it's just about the same on the other side. So you have to have like a short glass. And if you have two in here, so say, wait, say I had two water bottles in here, now I can't really reach around to get like, if I had something charging in here, you know what I mean? It's just a complete pain. Like, I don't know why they didn't bump this out a little bit or bump that back. But yeah, water bottles, number two, or cup holders, number two. So let's move on to number three. So number three is going to be the headlight washers. Now, it's kind of a cool feature. Some people like it, some people don't. Say I just washed my car, um, which I do quite frequently, and I get like a bug smear on my window, and I wanna just give a quick little spritz with the windshield wipers to try and get that off. Well, if I do that, these come out, spray on my headlights, and now my entire front bumper is coated in windshield wiper fluid, and it's a complete pain to clean that off again. So I'm gonna go inside, and it, it should do that. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> How is this okay? I guess it isn't a problem. Maybe, the, maybe it's just not working. They usually just pop right out. I'm kind of astonished, actually. Maybe I have to have the headlights on. Yeah, I'll give it a shot. No. You're serious, come on. No. Alright, well then you know what? We're changing that one. Although that... Well, they were working the other night. I don't know, so maybe it's they don't work if you wanted them to work. So maybe I'll change number three. I'm gonna change number three. Okay, here we go. Number three, um, this is going to be the windshield wiper jets that squirt the wiper fluid onto the windshield. Um, say you're driving along and you get a little something on your window and you wanna smear it off. Well, these do everything but keep your car dry. It literally is like the most powerful jet squirt ever and it gets everywhere. So I'll get in and I'll show you. That was hitting up here. So yeah, now you can see the car soaked. So that's kind of annoying. So yeah, let's move on to number four. So number four is going to be with the seats. Um, and it's gonna be the fact that there's lack of power seats. You get these nice sports seats, um, but everything is manual. So, you know, you see, you gotta come up in your seat. You gotta, you gotta do it all by hand. It's, you gotta slide pull forward and back. You gotta do it all by hand. You, know, you wanna recline a little bit? You take this huge knob? Yeah, what a pain that is just to freaking recline your seat. It takes like an hour. Yeah, that's a little bit annoying. If you get nice seats, don't expect them to be power. Numero Cinco. I mean, but there's probably more that I could come up with, but number five is going to be with the infotainment center. So not only is it a slight obstruction when it's up, if you decide to put it down, um, there's now no way to tell kind of what 
the volume's at, you can't really judge that on this screen up here. You, the only time you can ever see what your volume level is by numbers is when that's open. Say you're OCD like me and you like to keep it at like under 20 for volume, then you, you gotta have this open to figure that out. To add on top of that, the only way to switch back to a song, if you have your phone plugged in and you're listening to your own music, is to go down to the volume knob and hit the back button. You literally have to slide it back to the side. If you ever, you know, we're changing through a song on here, you know, you like to keep your hands on the wheel, and you're like, oh, there's a good song, you skip past it by accident. You can't go back without taking your hands off the steering wheel and coming over the volume knob, clicking it back enough. So, yeah, number five. I got some leakage seepage. Alright guys, thank you for watching. That is my five things that I dislike about the S3. I'm sure if I continue to drive it, there's going to be other little things that I find that, you know, aren't so savory in my liking for daily driving this car, but those have to be the top five things that bug me the most when I get into this every day. So, thank you guys for watching. Please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll catch you on the next one.